Okay, so for this session we're going to have a look at creating a pumpkin. So I've got my reference image here and we're just going to have a quick look at the basic shapes that are involved in this pumpkin. Now this one's uh, quite a stylized small pumpkin and there are a couple of others that I've looked at. So I've got this pumpkin here which has already been pre-carved. We're going to do something similar to that. Uh, then we've got the sort of the pumpkin stalk and then there's a couple of pumpkins that are uh, a little larger. So, th so these are the pumpkins we're sort of going to be going for and we're going to try and have a look at putting some uh, extra bits inside as well. I think these have been done by the looks of it with some cocktail sticks uh, so they've, uh, they've been stuck in as extras whereas these have probably been cut quite neatly out. So that's the thing we're going for. So I'm just going to go back to this original one and we'll start this as my base shape. I'm going to try and get my base shape into this. So we're starting our scene. We're going to select everything in the scene. Select everything, delete. And we're going to start with Shift A and add in a UV sphere. This is because we want to create this pole to pole sphere. Go into wireframe mode and we're going to select the sphere. Going to front view, going to edit mode, and I'm going to press G and Z. I'm just going to move this up. I'm not going to move it, I'm not going to worry too much about snapping just yet because we're going to do some proportional editing. And so the next thing we're going to do is it's got 32 subdivisions as, as a default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top vertex and I'm going to select the bottom vertex and I'm going to turn on the proportional editing. I'm going to go into scale mode and I'm just going to scale down and as you can see the proportional editing is going to start to take effect. And if I just open that up a little bit further we can bring that in and start to pull that down to make the shape that we want. So let's have a look at that in our shaded, mute, shaded view. So that's starting to look quite good. And we're going to bring our wireframe view back on, press everything on. We're just going to move this down in Z, just get it somewhere near the, the base. And then I'm also going to select every sort of every third uh, span. So if we if we were to uh, have a look at our calculator and say let's say we want to delete, uh, so we're going to go for about ten. Division. So if we have a look at our reference, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. So let's select using the Alt key. So I'm going to go into Edge Mode and I'm also going to turn on Shading just to make selection a little bit easier. Look for my first one that I want to start with. So I'm going to start, so I want to have these two sort of in the right place. So I'm going to select this one. Uh, come through, select every third one, so we're going uh, this one, shift, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Just trying to select every third one. One of them is going to have to be a bit smaller or a bit, a bit larger. That's the smaller one. So that'll do. And then we're going to use the scale mode with shift Z and we're just going to scale those in. Ah, but what we want to do, just use the right mouse button to deselect that. We want to deselect the proportional modifier. So again, S for scale, Shift Z to lock out the Z mode. And I'm just going to push this out a little bit. Uh, sorry, in a little bit. So we're just going to push in ever so slightly, not too much. There we go. And then I'm going to deselect everything. Go back to object mode, RMB, shade smooth. And we've got our profile starting to look sort of pumpkinish. Okay, so next bit to do is to work on the top portion here. So I'm going to select that vertex and I'm going to use the proportional editing, use G and Z, but I'm going to dial down using the middle mouse button the influence. So I'm just going to bring this back up, sort of somewhere about here. Yeah, that'll do. And then I'm going to control R to add an edge loop in. Just going to drag that down somewhere about there. And that'll do. 
I'm going to go to face mode. Let's go into edit mode. So we're in faces. And I'm going to use the select circle tool. Just use shift just to select those circles. Come out a little bit. I'm going to do control and plus to go out a bit more. And then I'm going to use the scale tool just to scale. Just to scale that bit up in the middle. Just to make it a little bit bigger for where the stalk's going to go. There we go. Now use S, Z and 0. Undo that, I want to turn proportional modifier off, so S, Z and 0 to just uh, flatten that top of that stalk out completely. Then I'm going to select uh, back, I'm just going to select the, the inside, We're using this circle select, so I'm just going to select back, so I can just move that up with the G, Z key, just bring that up a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to use, uh, just move this out of the way, we're going to go into a front view, we're going to uh, go into a wireframe view and uh, we're going to use control. I'll just turn this back to box select. So I'm going to use control and the right mouse button to click and draw out. Just undo that. I'm going to click and draw out a, an extrusion. Press S to scale that in. So I'm going to start that scaling, maybe R to just give that a little bit more of a rotation. And then again, control, right mouse click, S to scale. Now the scaling is a little bit crazy, so I'm going to use shift just to slow that scaling down a little bit. And then I'm going to use control and click again. And again, use the S and, and shift just to control that a little bit more. And then one more time, control and click. And then S scale that with shift. Okay let's have a look at how that looks in shaded view. There we go. So we've got the top of our uh, our pumpkin starting to look pretty cool. And I think we may want to add a little bit of a division in here so I'm just going to put control and R and then use the S tool just to pull that in. There we go. And then if we alt click and then S to scale, we can just bring that out and that's going to give us more or less what we want. And I'm just going to use Control B to add a bevel, just add one bevel in there and that'll just help us to smooth that. When that smooths out, that'll be cool. So there we've got the top of our, our pumpkin. Okay, so I'm going to save this, give this a save. Uh, so we'll just drop this in here and we'll go into our models. Okay, so we've got some pumpkins already in here. So this is going to be our pumpkin demo build. And there we go. Just click save as. And now we can start to think about building some of the shading networks. So in the next video, we'll just build up on the shading networks start adding some materials and then we'll start building the shading networks as they go through.